Ready to go? You ready? Are you ready? Go boy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here with Nate and Laura. They're taking me on an awesome adventure into Crownland, Canadian wilderness, and uh, trying out some awesome new skis. What are they called? They're called uh, Altai Hawks. Yeah, there you go. We got two pups with us, we're ready to rock. Some snowshoe hair tracks. It's so beautiful out here. Huge thanks to Algonquin Outfitters for outfitting this trip. <laughs> You're very welcome. So serene back here. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. Wow. Like how incredible is this? A babbling brook. So yeah, I'm out with Nate and Laura. Um, if they agree to it, I'll put their Instagram down below so you can check them out. This is this is an incredible place. We're on Crown Land in Ontario, which basically, for those who don't know, means uh, it's government owned land that is um, free to use um, and you basically just can do anything out here respectably of course and Nate's taken us to a pretty special spot today they both work for Algonquin Outfitters so I can't highly recommend them enough these skis are you can rent them at Algonquin Outfitters in Huntsville I'm just blown away. This is incredible. I feel so lucky to be out here. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. It's a really good workout. Feels amazing. All right, catch you in a bit. Yeah, we go left. That is a mistake I made. Left, not right. I believe in you, Nate. Good boy, Moose. Oh, that sun feels so freaking good. Yeah. This is so pretty. So yeah, once we, so what we can do is ski to that point right there, mm -hmm. and that's where we'll uh, we'll post up. Sounds good.
So weird without skis on. Yeah, <laughs> it's getting used to it. It is odd. <laughs> Okay, so you can see behind me, we're all set up. We found a spot to uh, relax. The sun is shining so beautifully. What's the A for? I'm knee deep in snow. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just about to go and find some, uh, some downfall so we can have a little fire and cook our, cook our lunches up and stuff. This lake is gorgeous. The trees are full of snow. It's dead silent out here, and we're actually bordering uh, Algonquin Park. So we've got Crown Land on this side, and we've got Algonquin Park on that side of this uh, of this lake. So very, very cool, beautiful place. All right, so we're gonna go get some firewood. Fire steals on its last legs. There you go. Of all kinds. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Wet twigs. <laughs> <laughs> I would worry about it finishing before we got to leave. <laughs> are you putting are you hanging a pot? <coughs> um or? no I'm gonna hang my bacon. Oh okay, nice. My bacon. I might go and get my pot to chuck in there for some chaga tea. Give her. And that way you can say, bull, I had chaga tea. <laughs> <laughs> Have it just to say I had it. <laughs> yep. I don't mind it. Um, I I feel like I would like it just because. Martin, yeah, Martin doesn't like, like it. I don't know. I don't love it. I I just I I don't mind it, and I think the health benefits outweigh the the not the taste isn't terrible. Yeah. But I know people that grind it mix it with their coffee, which makes a lot of sense. Sean does that, doesn't he? Yeah. Bacon time. She's a little greasy. Oh, got some action. Oh, 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 come on. There you go. <laughs> oh, nice. Huh? Huh? Mm. Okay, Nate. Show us what we got going on here. We have some cast iron pot bannock happening. Yes. It's starting to look pretty tasty. We need to give it a flip and a bit more oil, but mm -hmm. it's coming along. Not looking great. Didn't take long either. Love that cast iron pot oh, situation. Man. Mini Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. What else? We're not done. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> we have. Okay, uh, well, I got bacon hanging on here <laughs> and a pepper. 
And then in here we've got, if I can pop this lid off, uh, some chaga tea going on here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's getting right, there. It's getting there. Nice. I've never tried it before, so. Well. I'm excited to give it a go. Always, mm -hmm. so it's just one of those things I've always kind of meant to try and mm -hmm. never got around to it. Today's your day. Today's my day. What do we have in this little pot? Um, water? It's called bushcraft water. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's water. <laughs> Grizz is going to town on that pepper over there. Mm. Good boy. Oh, it's sizzle? <laughs> I'm really in the way. I'm really in the smoke. <laughs> A little smoky? <laughs> that is steamy. Does that feel nice on your face? <laughs> sort of. All right. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Jug of tea. Look at that. Oh. That looks good. A little soft on the inside, but. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Much tastier. Yeah. Grizz, right. you're gonna get some bacon. Don't worry. And I gotta show the people that I feed my dog. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was <laughs> that's a juicy shot. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. All right. <laughs> oh, loving that. Last piece. Good boy. Yeah, that'd be good. Just watch me like right on camera. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Charcoal is uh... Let me just flip this bacon into the, <laughs> into the fire for the sixth time today. I'm gonna call these bad boys done. Okay, that sun is setting quite a bit. Fire's nearly out. We're gonna cover that up and clean up our site. And uh, I'm gonna put the big camera away now and go for all the way out. Let's just watch these two work for a while. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, mm. Bonus. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Grizz is happy chewing on sticks with all the bacon he's got in his belly now. All right, camp's all packed up. Everything's covered over. Ready to rock and roll. filming or a dog to pull. <laughs> it's so gorgeous in here. So beautiful.
Oh, we're flying. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. You ready? You ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go, Grizz. Don't fall. This is that wicked spot on the way in. So incredible. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. yeah. No, it's that time at the end of the trip. Hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. there we go. That's, that's Good, yeah. That's there's, crazy. The, there's those poles <laughs> coming in handy. <laughs> you can see right now um, but uh, wow thank you guys so much for joining us what an incredible day um, an incredible experience if you guys I know I, I kind of say this all the time I need to come up with a slogan that has something to do with this because I just can't stress it enough if you if you are not used to getting outside in the winter because of whatever reason fix that reason if it's because you get cold a lot get yourself some really good gear some really warm stuff and just get out there can't stress enough if you live on this side of the world where you get snow uh, go out and enjoy it because it's it's phenomenal and we're so lucky to have it so that's my spiel I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video we had a blast out there like this is just this is this is why we get out there and do stuff it's it's incredible I also want to give an enormous thanks to Nate, Muskoka Nate. I will leave his Instagram in the in the description below. Go check his his um, go check out his Instagram. He posts some really beautiful pictures of the Canadian wilderness, Canadian backcountry, you name it. And uh, yeah, he was the one who got me outfitted today. And thank you so much, Nate. Really, really appreciate your time and coming out with me, showing me around, and. Uh, yeah, Algonquin Outfitters, if you guys need gear for, for a trip like this or uh, or you need to be outfitted for a canoe trip, go check out <clears throat> Algonquin Outfitters in Huntsville. They know what they're talking about and uh, Nate, will, Nate will set you up for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, I will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.